am ready to do my makeup. This is what I would do if I'm like going out to dinner or, um, you know, doing something a little more than just like running out the house really fast, but still pretty natural. I'm like, I love a natural look. It just works for me. Um, so yeah, this is the foundation that I use. It's just Chanel. I don't love to feel like I have too much on. I think the lighter, the better, just some good light coverage. I was a huge tomboy when I was younger, so I I didn't wear makeup like I'd say as much as Kylie did, but I still loved to play around with it and um, was honestly never that good. And then as I got older and like through my job and through just like seeing how people do my makeup, you learn so much about like what looks good on you and what doesn't. So yeah, when I'm done applying with this really soft brush, um, I use my beauty blender. All these different colors. I usually go for this guy and this guy. Kylie's like a legit professional. And I'm like, you know what, this works. I literally can do my makeup in like 15 minutes or less, 20 tops. And so Kylie and I are very different cause she is like, you know, full beat, but I respect it. She takes a lot longer, but you know what, she looks fire. So I've seen I've seen like some magical moments though where she um, gets ready pretty quickly and I love it. Bronzer time. So I usually start with like a like a creamy bronzer and I love obviously my Kendall by Kylie Cosmetics. I just like to be able to apply it like like a marker. So I kind of just draw it on and then I take this big kind of stiff brush and blend it all in. Probably have one too many steps when it comes to bronzer. I'm like all about like a non-perfect beat, like it just works. My biggest fear is like putting on bronzer and having like lines on my face because I didn't blend it enough or a line down here. So I love to like make sure it's all blended in well. It's a blessing and a curse to grow up in the spotlight because it has not always been cute and I have not always known what to do or what the right makeup move is. So I've definitely had some probably not hot moments. Okay, and then sometimes, this is a nice double-sided brush. Sometimes I'll take the small side after I contour my nose a little bit and I'll go in over my I'm gonna go in with my blush. I love creams first, cause like I said, I love like a dewy look. So I just think using like creams makes everything even dewier. No real rules here. And then I'm gonna go in with this really dewy Marc Jacobs creamy highlighter. I'm going with my finger. Also, I think if I could only live with two makeup products, it would be highlighter and bronzer. I've just lived such an awesome life when it comes to like getting like the craziest makeup, hair and makeup looks. Like I've been transformed into so many things. I'd say some of my favorite transformations when I do Marc Jacobs, like whether it's a campaign or a show, he's just so awesome. Like he just has the best, most amazing ideas. Now that I've kind of done all my doiness, I go in with a little bit of powder. I like this MAC, just like pressed powder. Um, I use the little MAC spongy thing and literally all I do is I go in right here under my eyes. Go 
below my nose, chin, and forehead. And I just leave it at that. Like I, I like to be dewy, like I said, so I really just kind of work around the places that I just put that shine. I love this Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess powder. So I go in over top of everything that I just did, just to add even more. Growing up, my mom had this like lucite makeup, this clear lucite makeup cabinet thing sitting on her like vanity and Kylie and I would go in all the time and like play with her stuff and just be messy. And she only when she was at home because I feel like when she came home, she'd get really mad at us for like messing up all her stuff. And my mom always said growing up, she's like, never look in this magnifying mirror because you're gonna see things that no one sees and then you're gonna start picking. And then she ended up getting rid of hers and she was like the best gift you can give like an ex-boyfriend who was like mean to you is one of these makeup mirrors because then they'll just go and they'll just make themselves break out because they just touch it so much. I am now moving on to a powder blush and I really love this little Stormy collection from Kylie Cosmetics. I definitely am so obviously proud of my sisters. It just, it makes so much sense for both Kim and Kylie to have these lines. Like they're just, it is who they are and literally what they've always loved. I'm gonna brush my brows out now. I don't do too much to my brows, to be honest. I've finally gone to a good place with them. Back to the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess powder, bronze powder and just put a little of that on my eyes. Sometimes this bronze goddess um, powder isn't a little, isn't dark enough for my eyelids. So I use this Serge Luton bronze powder for my eyes. I kind of apply in like little circles almost around, like on my whole eyelid. Like I go for the middle first and then I'll come out to the ends a little bit right in here. But because I'm not using like a super dark color, it makes my life a lot easier. So there's not really too much messing up I can do. You just kind of blend it all in. And then I will take Kevin Aquan brown pencil, eye pencil. So it's gonna look a little bit of this right now, and then we'll see how magical it gets. All right, so I did just a little bit smudgy on the ends. Put a little bit of brown pencil, smudge it all out so you don't even really, it just kind of creates that little like darker effect right there. And then now I'm going to take whatever is like kind of left on the spongy side that I just used this for and just go in under just to make this slightly darker. Now I'm going to curl my lashes, which is never cute. don't really have a technique. My lashes are just really long, so I have to like get them all in there. On sait d'accord, tu me rappelles. Si je suis pas là, je suis chez Christelle. Kredime gir, kayıt ol. Limitini öğren ve dilediğin yerden alışverişe başla. Kredimle şimdi al, sonra öde. When anyone does my makeup, it's the one thing I kind of have to do myself. Just cuz like I feel like I've mastered it almost cuz my lashes tend to like I have good lash days and bad lash days. Like these are all my natural lashes, but sometimes they're just wacky and they don't want to follow instruction. So, I have to kind of get in there and tell them what to do. I'll go in with my Armani mascara. One of the best parts is my lip. I feel like I'm incomplete without a lip now, and I, if you would have told me four years ago 
that I would have said that, I would have been like, you're crazy. I would never say that. I never used to wear lipstick and now I like can't leave the house without, well, that's a lie. I can leave the house without it, but it completes a look. So I have these two different ones. This is our secret concoction, so you're welcome. This is the Kevin Aquan medium and then the Giorgio Armani. It's a 12, so I'm saying that for me. I love a good plumpy lip, so I usually slightly overline. I take the lighter one and I kind of go in the middle. I slightly like blend the outer line into the middle. Super nice, not too non-natural color. I take my Kendall, it's called a lip blush. It's really nice. And I honestly just do like a little dab right in the middle to just even out. I use the liner as a lipstick pretty much. Like I'll line it, then put it in the middle and then I'll use like the littlest bit of this lip blush just to like kind of even everything out. And it just feels really nice. And then I go over top of it with another Kendall Kylie product. I'm telling you, we made all of our products based on like what I actually use. So it's like so nice and so convenient. So I use this, it is so like, what? It's, like, it's so thick and good and it lasts all night. Like you could put it on once and it lasts all night. I have a bad habit of like rubbing my lips together all the time, so. Um, I tend to have to reapply, but it really does. Mm. And I love like a good bratty lip, so that's why I love like a gloss. I think also glosses like make your lips look a little bigger than they actually are, so. This is kind of me. And then I'll usually like go in last minute because I just am a bronze obsessed. Throw a little bit more on. my KKW Beauty bronze and shine palette. So I use this one. It's a brand new one. I use my other one probably. But I use this guy even on top of, like I usually go in with the creamy, you know, bronze, blush, shine. And then at the end I go in with the powder shine, powder bronze.